Watermelon was sprayed with a polymer coating. We'll come back to what this is and how it works. But for now, let's see how the coated watermelon fares in the drop test. <laughs> Instead of shattering, the watermelon bounces and remains intact. Even with an axe, the How Ridiculous Boys can't crack this shell. How is it not? That is amazing! It is pretty amazing that the watermelon could survive an impact at over 100 kilometers per hour. Yeah. So I went to find out more about the coating, uh, called Linex. We decided to Linex a piece of paper to see how strong the coating is. As you can see, it came out as a hot, high-pressure liquid. So now, we'll wait till some of this heat goes away. Probe. <laughs> Probably getting a good amount of curing going on. It is really tough to rip at this point. It's strong stuff. Yeah, no. that, that tensile strength will get you. <laughs> <laughs> that high tensile strength is the same reason the Linex coated watermelon bounces. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> This type of coating is now used in the walls of the Pentagon, preventing exterior explosions from launching shrapnel into the building, the main cause of injury from explosions. And it's used in bulletproof vests to contain bullet fragments that could cause serious injury. All of this is pretty incredible for a substance invented as a truck bed liner. Buster has his back to the reinforced wall, but will it be enough to protect him from a C4 blast? This is Bedliner on a cinder block wall in three, two, one. Wow. I see smoke rising and... That's a big black mark, but uh, I don't think it did any damage to I don't, I don't see a hole. From the front, it's looking good for blast-proof bedliner. Yeah, it's looking really good from this side. Yeah, there's hardly any damage, it's just dirt. Well, let's look at the other side. What? Oh! <laughs> hey! It worked! Buster survived!